Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Libra. You can see the Libra sign here. At least it sort of looks like it. <laughs> Alright, let's get into your reading. Okay, what do we have for Libra that Libra needs to know today? What is going on here? We just have a new moon showing up soon, in the next week or so. A time rather to give rather than take. And Virgo is showing up in your reading. And we have confidence is the key to your success. New moon and Leo. So Leo, Virgo, Libra. All right. Maybe these are your sun, moon, or rising, or your Venus sign. Could be just that you have these in your chart. We have forgiveness. Okay. So, and focus. Focus on forgiveness and community. So, wow. Okay. Perhaps you, there's somebody in your community that you need to focus your forgiveness on. Perhaps they wronged you in the past. And this is how you're going to overcome something here in order to get this success. Having that confidence, maybe give back with this forgiveness to this person. Let's have a look at what's going on here. For a Libra. Now this could be you or your person. Take it however it resonates. Flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do. To have it resonate for you. The chaser. Okay. Chaser in a codependent relationship. They are chasing after someone. They feel a fear of abandonment. And we have stability, security, growth. Now, by walking away from somebody codependent, Libra, there may be some issues that this person needs to deal with and having somebody dependent on you um, maybe they can't be by themselves maybe there's something you have that they're dependent on or they have an addiction or addiction or obsession to you there's needing to renew oh renewal to gain some bun abundance so perhaps needing to I'm getting that sit in by yourself finding your peace within grounding out I feel like you need to maybe even meditate and release some type of stress maybe you're running from this person and they are chasing after you Maybe for your abundance, you're needing to renew something here. Finding self again. Maybe you lost yourself within someone else here. Maybe you are the codependent person that needs to learn about being okay, being on your own. You don't need anyone. It has to be that you just want someone in your life. It's not because you have to have them there because you're going to get something from them or they're going to provide something for you okay you you got to be able to have those things on your own for you to be independent and not codependent let's see here yeah going within somebody's needing to go within be by themselves be out in the middle of the sea kind of thing contemplating over what's going on yeah in order to have that new look on life here a new outlook on life this is what is coming in for you something that is going to be renewed and improved or some type of opportunity I'm getting oh maybe with the main male here let's have a look and see what comes out for Libra Maybe you are this main, main male. Let's see here. Wow, sudden wealth. That is amazing. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, this is going to be a big change for you. I feel like this is going to be something that is shocking. 
something that is going to take a bit to get used to. And it's going to be, I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, let's see what else is for Libra. Oh, we have a man holding a heart. So that masculine energy is coming back out here in this deck. Yes, this is your yin to your yang, or your yang to your yin, take it out however it resonates for you. This is your wish fulfillment with number nine here. Your ascended masters are coming through about some type of sudden wealth for you. Maybe it comes in with this masculine, maybe you are the wealth, and a masculine is coming in for you. Um, maybe your abundance isn't more about money, it may be about love. Let's see what is going on with your love life here. Ah, somebody here is going to recapture your romance with your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you're definitely going to have that playfulness with this person. This person may be reminding you of your childhood. It could also be that this person has children. Maybe you have children. Maybe you have grandchildren. Take it however it resonates. There's a lot of playfulness. I'm getting young at heart. So it could just mean with the children here that this is somebody that's going to have that young at heart type of feeling. They don't feel their age. Um, I kind of feel like, <laughs> um, not that they're immature, but they're just want to have fun. They don't, they don't want things to be too serious when it comes to things. They just want to have, have a, a good rest of their days in a positive mindset I'm kind of getting here. Wow, you may end up having a career change. Now Virgo had the same thing happen to them and I kind of feel like, oh, counseling. You may heal with your kind words, wise advice, and empathetic ear. Perhaps people like to tell you their problems. Maybe you're an open book and make people feel at ease. I feel like this is something that's coming through here that maybe you hadn't really thought of doing. And this may be something that's a natural gift for you. It may be something of lineage here, going back in the day for your ancestors coming through. Let's see, what do we have here? Freedom to choose. I kind of feel like you have the freedom to create your own happiness, and that's what it says here. I possess the power and free will to create your own happiness. So I feel like you have a freedom to choose what you want to do. Maybe you'll be a healer. Maybe you'll counsel people. Maybe you'll do spiritual work. It's a freedom to choose. Okay. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Everybody has pride. They all want to feel that good about themselves, right? And having pride doesn't have to be a bad thing. You can still be prideful, but keep it on the down low where it's not interfering with your life in a sense that you're too pride to ask too much pride to ask for help or that you're too prideful to see what you need to see you know you don't you're not going to let that get in your way it's going to be something that's on the down low and you just have a good sense about yourself i feel like you have a lot of pride in yourself not that you're a prideful person and you don't let anyone in or because you have too much pride. It's about having pride with whatever you're doing. It's, it's kind of feeling good about yourself kind of feeling here. Having that freedom to choose. Libra, please. What else does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know right now, please, Spirit? Ah, the Jade Star. Surrender. I am ready to let go 
with self-compassion, being good to yourself. The priestess, wow, you may be the divine feminine and you have a masculine coming in for you. We have the number five, so this is going to be something of a change to be self-compassionate towards yourself, being good to yourself, How, not talking those negative things to yourself, having that positive outlook on self, having that pride within, wow, look at this, we have the emperor coming in for you, confidence is key emperor coming in for Libra, if you are the divine feminine, you have your masculine coming in for you, it is a time to give then take masculine, and you're going to have to have that confidence in order to win this Libra. Now, take how it resonates. If you are the Libra masculine, you're coming in for your person. You know that you have a lot of confidence. So take it how it resonates for you. Let's see. You may have felt out in the cold at one point. You're getting gaining strength here. And you may have been pretty sad about some breakup that you may have had. Maybe even with this Libra. But you have learned some lessons here from all this loss of somebody here in order to gain your self-confidence, your self-worth. What is this forgiveness, Libra? Wow, this is for your 10th cup. This may be somebody from your past. This may be a twin flame. This may be somebody new. It doesn't have to be somebody from your past. Yes, they are bringing in an offer. You may need to forgive self. Perhaps you have some shame that maybe you feel bad about something you did. And you need to focus on not what everybody else thinks about you, but forgiving self. I feel like this 10th cup coming in for you is really going to be a game changer. What is this chaser here, this codependent person here? What is this? Aha. This is somebody that has that wounded warrior type of energy, the nine of wands. But this is having not necessarily bad things. This is healing wounded things that have happened, healing injuries, an accident, or some type of illness. This is success after a setback. This is having good stamina or good powers. This is something that is you're able to walk away from for your own self or your own well-being here. Yeah, this is somebody from your past that may be chasing you. What is this renewal here when it comes to your renewal and abundance? Yeah, you're looking for marriage or... A happy home with the four of wands here you're kind of looking for that peace at home this happy home happy home life harmony this cooperation to have this renewal you could want marriage as well yeah this is a blessing coming in this abundance wow it has to do with this emperor this love this man holding this heart Wow, okay, this new life. You may have more than one person coming in. You have an, an opportunity here. But with this new life, you may have somebody that isn't willing to give a cup here. You may have more than one person here. Yeah, somebody that doesn't want to fight or plant seeds. This may be you not wanting a certain somebody from your past. An emperor may be coming in instead. Let's see. What is the sudden wealth and change here? This is healing, but it kind of showed up in the reverse here. This is you, or Virgo, sorry. This is Virgo energy. This may be a rejection here to something in order to get a change, to change something to do with maybe a sudden wealth here some type of rejection yeah I feel like it might be this person from the past in order to get your blessing you may have to walk away from somebody 
in your past and not accept somebody's offer here in order to have this new life. You may need to get near some water or just have alone time to really contemplate on what you're looking at and really do that deep dive into what you truly want. Does this person really represent what you're looking for or were you just settling for something less than? Maybe they made you feel bad for wanting to walk away and perhaps you felt bad for wanting to walk away but that's not your problem that's not they're not they shouldn't have that on you that's not your burden to carry if you want to walk by all means walk away you don't owe this person anything you owe it to yourself to follow your true heart's desire if this person is not what you're looking for cut your cord cut your losses and walk it's life is too short to waste away years and have somebody waste your time when you could have something coming in here that is a game changer, a blessing, a financial blessing as well. There's a rejection that has to be had here for your emperor to come in. This man who truly loves you that is going to be like, how do I put that? It, you are just going to have that meshing, this deep soul connection, this really yin for your yang, somebody that gets you, that really understands who you are and accepts who you are. Let's see what comes in. Yeah, there was some shady behavior when it came to this, to this rejection. I feel like you kind of see through that. Let's see who this man holding this heart is who really gets you what is this yeah you may have learned a few things since this last person that you rejected yes you are a fiery you're a confident determined self-assured and optimistic here you know what you're looking for you kind of mold over what you're not and maybe you've had a lot of knots in order to find the 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 yes the good the good one the one that's meant for you the one that's coming in for you that is your ten of cups part of your journey is forgiveness there is a whole circle that comes around when it comes to awakening and you're going to do your deep soul um shadow work you're going to heal you're going to find where the baggage lies of what to leave behind so you're not taking it to the next relationship you're going to heal all the things you've thought about your shame anything that you may be holding on to maybe forgiving somebody that um that wronged you like in order to have this whole thing it comes back around to forgiveness being good with yourself starting your journey on what your really heart's desiring and moving from there and, and it comes full circle around and then you start to work on what you really want in your life and then it starts to come in for you so there's these all these different steps to take in order to get to where you need to be to have that manifesting your life, your true heart's desire, and really bringing in what you're looking for. Let's see, what's this children and playfulness? Ah, this person may be very mysterious, or you are to them. Now, this may be just unexpected. This may be some fear or insecurity surfacing here. This may be some type of I don't want to say an illusion. I just want to say that it's unexpected. Something may come confirmation of some sort here. There needs to be some compassion or you're very compassionate to something here. Wow, there's a lot of love here. This is a twin flame. We did see the lovers, did we not? No, maybe we didn't yet. Okay, so, wow, that's beautiful, though. Yes, there is marriage on the horizon here. Wow, what is this career change? What is the career change coming in here for you? 
For Libra, yes, you're having a different perspective about your life here, about your career, about what you want to be doing. Perhaps it's home-based or something. Wow, look at that. It looks like it is home-based. It's going to bring in a lot of stability. You're going to save some money. You are going to hang on to that money to build this generational wealth for yourself here. Wow. What is this pride and freedom? What is this? Pride and freedom. This one wants to come. Wow. This is a new passionate beginning, but it hasn't come in for you yet. Okay. So it is coming though. Yeah, there's that offer. It is coming. It is coming for you. And it looks like something has to end here before this new beginning can come in. This is what your true heart desires here. Could be a Capricorn Libra. Yes, I feel like everything's going to be torn apart until you realize what the lesson is. Maybe it has something to do with your pride. Knocking down that pride in order to free yourself here. Yeah, and releasing that burden. Okay, putting those burdens down here. Let's see, what is this surrender and embodying divine feminine here? What is this for the feminine surrendering here? Wow, you're a sweetheart. You're very nurturing and loving. You're emotionally connected here, possibly to the divine. I feel like you are connected here. Yes, look at that. You are showing up as the Empress. You, it explains why we have um, the Queen of Wands coming out and the Queen of Cups. You are the Empress. You have to be all four queens in order to become the Empress. And that means you have had to have quite the journey in life to recognize what you don't want versus what you truly do want. So let's see, let's get the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of celebration and success here, a big harvest here, something that you may have started on your own. Let's do a couple of the after tarot just to round this out. Not that we need any clarification, but let's see if there's any other messages that are needed for Libra. All right, what's the emperor here? Wow, you're showing back up as the emperor or your person is. They, this is clearly saying that your emperor is coming in no matter what. They were coming in before and now they are showing up. They won't be long that they will be coming in for you. I, I expect in the next four weeks, four to eight weeks here, maybe 10 weeks, this is somebody that it desires you so much with the devil here. They may be a Capricorn that this emperor is, or this could be a Capricorn Libra that is in your chart, or you can be the emperor with Capricorn in your chart, or the feminine is the Capricorn. Let's see here. Yes, there's a lot of self-love that this person has done. What is the forgiveness? What is this offer here with the Ten of Cups? This is your Ten of Cups. Yes, they're going to be in a position of advantage for their Empress. They have slayed the dragon, um, got more sleep. They may not have been able to think about anything else but you. <laughs> they would finally decided to take action here to come towards you. They may be working up the strength and I feel like the ability to come forward maybe they're working on their pentacles here to bring forward for you in order to have something to give you let's look at the chaser and the person from the past this person may hope that you are going to get their offer first possibly even that you are going to accept their offer yeah, this may be an empty victory. Yeah, your King of Pentacles is coming in. Who is your blessing? And I feel like 
this emperor has to be all four kings in order for this blessing to come in. I feel like this king of pentacles is this emperor, a version of him coming in. What is this new life with the offer being in reverse? Yeah, there is going to be a king of cups that's going to want to come in, but you may not take his offer. Let's see here. Yeah, they see your ships are coming in. They may have juggled you and you are leaving on your ship. What is this shady ass behavior here? Somebody wants this. They see you as maybe such a sweetheart, but you've rejected somebody here that's shady here. You, I, I kind of feel like you sense that they are just looking for your wealth. Yeah, there's secrets here that are going to be revealed. Whoever is in this card here is showing up another feminine. Let's see. What is this man holding the heart here? Yeah, they want to cooperate with you. They see you as very beautiful, very fiery, that fire energy, that determined and confidence. They really like that about you. Now, they may know you from childhood or know of you. They may have know you through your children take it however it resonates but it's somebody that you knew from your past in some way shape or form perhaps you <laughs> maybe you were working in a certain place and they came in as a customer they may know who you are you may have a platform you may have a channel you may have things that you're doing a TikTok, whatever it is somebody sees you and I feel like they want you to come home to them. Now, you may have made a judgment call on this. They could be getting judgment. This could be somebody from your past that's receiving judgment. What's this playfulness in children here with the love and marriage? Yeah, you may have put this to rest with somebody here. This may be somebody from your past here that you may have been married to at one point that you have ended it out. This may be somebody you had children with. Take it however it resonates here, but I feel like there has to be a rejection here somewhere along here where you're not taking somebody's cup for your emperor to come in here. You've put down this burden, and whatever this offer is here, something's being tore down here. I feel like there was a delay here because of somebody's pride. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. What's the Ten of Pentacles here? This counseling and career change. Yes, you want equal give and take. And there's somebody here that is going to do that. Maybe you're being very generous now that you have a solid foundation. Yeah, you want to celebrate. Things are really looking up for you, I feel. Your harvest is coming in. Somebody may want to come in with some shady behavior because of your abundance here. You may have gotten that sudden wealth and that may be... A big change for you and somebody may want to come in to take that from you what is this burden here yeah you may have been in poverty or somebody might be trying to come in to offer you something because they are in poverty yeah they're gonna want to come in passionately maybe not for a long time but a good time kind of thing help you spend some money what's this empress here Yes, you did get a blessing, a financial a blessing here. Now, let's see, not everybody is meant to come with you. Now, if this person from the past, there needs to be some forgiveness, but that does not necessarily mean, Libra, that you have to take this person back. Okay, you can still forgive, but that does not mean you have to accept them back. Let's see, yeah. There was a tower that hit here for a feminine. Something happened here. Yeah, but you're going to get the victory, so don't worry about that. Even if this person came in and tried to take from you, 
Spirit wasn't going to let this happen. They brought in that tower there. They're bringing it back here. And they're having this Wheel of Fortune. Maybe this was a lesson you needed to learn, Libra. Perhaps this great fortune, you let somebody from your past come in. Maybe you made that judgment call. Maybe it was somebody that you divorced. And maybe they came back once you had this wealth, building this legacy, maybe wanted to come in because they were in poverty. But if they're coming in and you've rejected somebody here though, so something's being torn down, it's being torn down again. Perhaps there's two people here, not both of them are able to come with you. Maybe even more than that. Yeah, you're having to make a decision here. I feel like you're having to pick between more than two people. What is the celebration here? Aha, you're going to be very happy in the end when all this comes to an end, this chaos and conflict and tower moments here. They may just be something that's unexpected. You weren't expecting to have happen here. Perhaps someone else came in and you had already started dating someone else. Perhaps you decided to change your mind about who you first started dating for this other person. Maybe they resonated more with you. Maybe you were on a yin to their yang. Maybe you found your person and it wasn't the first choice you had. But you're going to be very happy and celebrating here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, you're already at that nine of cups now, or you will be. <clears throat> I feel like that 10th cup is coming though, and you will get that. You may decide not to take any offers, and you may feel your happiest being on your own. <clears throat> Something has to be said here though. I'm feeling some type of truth with this heart, um, this throat chakra that I'm feeling here. There has to be a clear, I feel like speaking, clear speaking, being really cut and dry, just maybe you're fact-based here, but you're really going to tell how it is. Let's cut the deck. Yeah, you're very serious about what you're saying. You're not you're stepping into your masculine side here, or there may be a mas another masculine that ends up coming in for you. Yeah, you walk away from somebody here as well with <clears throat> the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're healing everything all over again. So you may not end up taking anybody. You may have been in the beginning of this timeline, the middle or the end. Put it however it resonates for you, but whatever's coming in for you, there's some lessons you may end up learning here, some tower moments that end up happening. Perhaps you start dating somebody and someone else comes in and maybe you resonate more with one than the other and have to let one go. And maybe you find that after all, this person starts to show their true self, and maybe you don't want them either. Maybe you end up choosing one, but you're going to be happy no matter what you do. And it looks like you may just be happier on your own. There might be someone else that comes in and you walk away from. You do not need to take anybody back. You do not need to take anybody's offer. It's going to rely on you and your intuition and I feel like you're the empress you know what you're looking for your emperor is still coming in for you you may have to walk away from a couple people before the true person comes in and I feel like they may need to renew their abundance they may see you as the blessing here take it however it's resonating for you whether you are the masculine or whether you're the emperor or the empress, take it however it resonates for you, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading because Libra, you have some amazing things coming in, some sudden wealth. This is really great. You may have to walk away from a couple people. Spirit's going to tear some shit down here um, because there's certain people that are just not 
supposed to come with you with your journey here and it may be a lesson that you have to go through in order to realize who's who in your energy in your group or your it could even be in your family it could be siblings it could be um, cousins it could be anything uh, friend group it could be just acquaintances there's certain people that are not meant to come on this journey with you all right libra i hope you enjoyed your reading please like share and subscribe you can always donate to the channel if you would like to there is a description box below to click on with a link to paypal or you can do the super thanks and i appreciate each and every one of you especially for watching the videos that certainly helps the channel as well and for all your likes shares and subscriptions this is beautiful oh and if you would like to win a free reading which i will be choosing on the 18th of this month to have a free reading by me, a personalized video that I will send you via via mail, your email. So <laughs> let's see, um, there is all the details that you'll need in the community tab on my channel. You can just go into the community tab and click on that and it will show a post of how to win a free reading by Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot. And you can just have a look at that and put in the secret phrase in the certain video that needs to be in. And I choose all the winners from that video. So you can have a look in what that secret phrase is. I only post the secret phrase. I am not telling it in the videos. So if you'd really like to win that free reading by me, then you can take a look in the community tab as well as if you'd like to gift your free reading to someone you have to have their permission and they have to actually want the reading <laughs> and all you have to do is email if you are the winner email the name you'd like to have gifting this reading to if you wish to gift it and then the person and the name of that person they will need to email me so I can email them directly with their free reading that you would like to gift to them. So that is what I offer. That's a way of giving back to all my supporters, all my people that are watching these videos, all the new people that are coming in as well. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you all as well. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. All right, Lita.